After installing the machine, you'll find the pressure gears on the left side secured with zip ties. Cut these zip ties at the back of the machine. Then, move the pressure bar directly underneath the red label on the machine, aligning everything from right to left. Note that the second position doesn't need pressing. Ensure the red label is visible and all three steel spikes under the pressure wheel are aligned. Once the stand is set up, check the two rods at the back to ensure they rotate smoothly. If one feels rough, it indicates the stand might be misaligned, resembling a figure eight, and needs readjusting. You can level it by adding a shim or flat plate. Next, place the film on these two rods and thread it from under the pressure bar at the back to the front. Secure the edge of the film onto the machine's ruler at either 2 cm or 2.5 cm. Go back to the rear of the machine and first flatten the film. There are two film stops on the rod. Use an Allen wrench, M6, to tighten them securely. The two film stops on the left should be one millimeters away from the film cylinder. Make sure they're tight. Once the film roll is secured, one person should hold the roll firmly at the back of the machine. Another person should then pull from the front middle, pulling the entire roll forward to ensure it's completely flat. After ensuring the film is flat, press down on the pressure bar. Make sure to press the pressure bar first, then both can let go. Turn on the machine once the film is set. On the coordinate interface, press the down button to advance the film forward by three meters. Ensure the film doesn't drift left or right. If it deviates severely, reload the film. The goal is for the film to travel three meters with a maximum deviation of two millimeters. When the machine starts, it will display the coordinate interface. Use the left and right buttons for adjusting the pressure and the up and down buttons for the speed. Typically set the speed to about 350. If the speed exceeds 350, Manually feed the film into the collection area to prevent the machine from pulling the entire film roll. Adjust the pressure according to the material thickness. For a film thickness of 7.5 mils, around 130 pressure is suitable. For each unit increase in thickness, add 10 to the pressure. After setting the speed and pressure, press the middle confirm button to return to the main coordinate interface. Use the left and right keys to adjust the blade's position laterally and the front and back keys to position the film. Start by centering the blade using the left key. Once centered, press the test cut key and the machine will cut a small square on the film. If the blade cuts through the second layer of the backing paper, shorten the blade a bit. If the square is difficult to remove, lengthen the blade. To adjust the blade length, remove the golden blade holder, which consists of three parts. Loosen the central locking nut and then the ends. Feel the length of the blade tip with your fingers. It should be only half the thickness of the film and should not feel sharp. Tighten the locking nut. After adjusting the blade, press the test cut button again. Continue adjusting until the top layer of the film is easy to peel off without damaging the backing paper. Once the middle setting is correct, move the blade to the left side of the machine and perform the test cut. After confirming the left side is correct, adjust to the right side and check the cutting effect there. If the cutting effect at both ends isn't satisfactory, you can increase or decrease the pressure by three. After adjusting the blade, use the coordinate interface's front, back, left, and right keys to adjust the machine's cutting origin. Set the blade tip 1.5 centimeters from the film edge right in front of the first pressure rod and pressure wheel. With all settings adjusted, your machine is all set up and ready for operation.